The airport is actually, to me, a very important uh, component all right, of actually the, of the tourism industry as well. I mean, on its own, it's important, but I think it's a very important part of tourism. Uh, I would call it a symbiotic relations, all right, because uh, for the air hub to succeed, if the destination is not appealing, then it's going to affect the number of people coming, and that will affect your ability or to achieve the air hub status. And similarly for tourism, if you don't have a very effective air hub, where you've got many people willing to come here, even if it's in transit, maybe come out for a day or two, that again will affect our numbers, uh, our ability to achieve our numbers. So I think, I think we'll look, we should look at it, that actually it's a very important part. And I see uh, uh, Sing STB and uh, CAS and uh, Changi Airport Group, I mean, they, they have to work hand in hand and work very closely to to realize our long-term plan for the country. And I don't think the two plans can be developed uh, separate from each other. Uh, now, I'll come to the jewel question a little bit, just in a couple of minutes, but I just to touch upon a point that, so PM, uh, PM uh, raises issue about that with the fifth terminal, uh, he's looking at the, the, the capacity for the airport will double, will double. Uh, today, I think the capacity for the airport is about 70 million packs. We are doing about 51. I think the capacity is 70. So if we double the capacity, that will, uh, that will bring us to, say, 140, 150 million packs a year. When you count packs, the airport count packs as in and out. So in terms of number of passengers, okay, number of passengers, uh, if you handle, say, 51 like we did last year, Aga Aga, you're talking about handling about 26, 25, 26 packs, or if you can count in and out. So I did, I did some calculation. I did some calculation. Based on 150 million capacity, and the airport operates on 80% capacity, 80% of that capacity, and if one third of the passengers using our airport are transfer passengers, all right, which is the case today, it's about one third and that Singaporeans make 15 million air trips a year. Today, Singaporeans make about seven to eight trips overseas a year, air and sea. So let's assume for air, all right, they make eight million. So you work through all your numbers. Actually, you, our, our airport will have to handle something at 25 to 30 million visitors arrival each year. All right, if we are to, if we are to uh, meet the requirements of operating 80% of 150 million capacity. So what that means is that if you, if your left hand and a right hand is to be synchronized, what STB will have to do is that you will need a plan, or essentially to uh, see how we could, it, we're able, or to attract something at 25 to 30 million tourist arrivals a year. All right, and last year we are at 14 million. Uh, 14 million, uh, million visitors arrival. Well, obviously, our target, which was set 10 years ago, was 17 million. So it's still some way to go. All right, I think it is not, it is not, uh, uh, not is, is, is something that's not impossible to achieve, uh, even with that big numbers. Because even at, uh, I reckon that even at uh, 25 to 30 million visitors a year, and based on the same length of, length of stay and everything, I will be handling about in my view, about 300,000 tourists at any one time in Singapore. It's quite sizable, but you consider a population of uh, 5 million, 6 million, or maybe 7 million with a white paper. All right, actually, the, 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 the 300,000, 2 to 300,000 tourists a year is really not so impossible to achieve. But you need, you need a plan, all right, essentially to to uh, support this initiative with enough attractions, with enough things to do, all right, with facilities that are needed to support, say about 200 to 50,000, two, two, 300,000 tourists a year. Now, let's come back to Jewel. I think the issue really is about uh, how do we see uh, Singapore as a destination and something that's very unique about Singapore. 
In fact, when I was in STB, we were think, we were, one thought that we had as part of our tourism 2015 planning was that we actually see Singapore as like a, the world's biggest transit lounge. <laughs> uh, really because if you're a tourist, all right, you actually can conveniently get to any one of our destinations in Singapore all right, in what, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes at most. From the Chingy Airport, you can get to Marina Bay via ECP in 15, 20 minutes. Orchard Road, about the same time, or you can get to uh, some of Pising Chinatown or Little India or even a zoo all right, in actually a relatively short time as compared to any other cities around the world. I, in all my years of traveling, I have not come across a city all right, that is actually quite like us, where you get out of the airport, zoom, and you're already in the city in a, in a very quick, quick pace of time. So in this notion of have, seeing Singapore as a world's greatest transit lounge, it is the idea all right, that if we can develop a system where our transit passengers or our arrival passengers all, right, all the systems are put in place, immigration, security, uh, left baggage, and etc., are done in a way all right, that the tourists can get out very quickly all right, to enjoy all the things that we have in Singapore, whereas in ethnic district, shopping areas, our IRs, our zoo, and everything, all right, uh, 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 in a very convenient way, so that tourists who has got, say, four, five, six hours of transit time, it's still viable actually to get out of the airport and spend two to three hours somewhere all right, before they get back to the airport all right, to board a plane. So if we look at it this way, right, then the issue is that do we want our tourists to spend more time in the town and in a different attraction or you want a tourist to spend more time at the airport? Granted that we, will still, we should develop the airport uh, in as attractive as possible all right, for arrival passengers and for transit passengers. I think that's still important. Okay, but we've got to keep that in mind, all right, if our objective is really to get the passengers, and, uh, including the transit passengers, all right, to get out to the town to enjoy Singapore, all right, then the way that we size up Project Jewel all right, is to keep that in mind. All right, because whoever spent a billion, two, three billion dollars developing a huge project, you should expect them to do everything they can to keep the passengers in the airport, right? So these are the trade-offs that I think that we have to make as a country. All right, you leave it to the Changi Airport Group, they may make, obviously, in the, they, they may see things in a certain perspective. But I think it's important that you look at it, take that, and then look at it from a broader perspective and a tourism consideration, and then see it as a wider perspective. And our, I think our decision may be slightly different, or the sizing of the project may be slightly different. Thank you.